Hello everybody, this is Also House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM Chimera Squad. In the previous episode, we, uh, well, continued our investigation of the progeny. Unfortunately, in the process of doing so, Cherub ended up with a scar that is, well, let's just say it's going to be very hindering for him. So we're taking shelter out for the first time. I'm not going to be taking uh, Godmother of Patrick off the assembly because I really want to get that mastercrafted gear ready. Though I'm willing to bet that after this mission, the arms robbery, that the infiltrate progeny stronghold is going to become critical and we aren't able to hold back on it anymore. It sucks, but oh well. Also, something I forgot to announce, uh... In my Yakuza 0 video on Monday, but there is something special coming on Friday. No, it's not going to be Cyberpunk. I, honestly, it's going to be a while before I ever go back to a Let's Play of that. But it is going to be something that I have been waiting for for a long, long time, and it is something I fully intend to play through in its entirety that will be showing up. Whether or not I'll be taking over for something else, I'm not 100% sure yet. But I am definitely going to be enjoying it, and I hope you will enjoy it as well. But anyways, back to the game. Let's get on with this arms robbery. Hostiles stole a unique weapon from the uh, on its way to the city archives. Let's make sure it ends up where it was intended. Yes, in our hands. So, let's do this. Uh, let's make sure we get our supply items made available. I think this is probably actually the first time since, uh... Ever that Cherub wasn't in the squad. To get the Trank rounds on him, not much else we can do there. Why not toss some extra padding on him? And sure, I'll toss a targeting system on his SMG. Uh, nothing else? Da -da -da. Yeah, we should be good. Let's go. Now, this is the first time I'm ever using shelter, so don't know how it's going to work. Informant came through. Hostiles at this location have a special weapon. Okay, we got the keypad door, which is closely watched. Enemies are going to deal extra damage. Let's get the rear guard. On this one, last unit to this entrance gets plus one armor for the encounter. I think I'm going to stick with the side door. First going through is going to be Axiom. Then I'm probably going to send in Terminal just so she's higher up on the timeline for uh, healing. Then Verge and then Shelter. Okay, let's do this. Follow me. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Aggressive. The Thrall over there. Axiom has the best chance of killing it in one go. Let's take the shot. Damn. But I probably should have expected that. Okay. Uh, terminal, I'm probably going to have you. And Shelter take out the Necromancer. Verge. If you get max damage and hit, please. Damn. Could go for the dazzle. There's only one encounter here. Screw it, go for it. Okay, that's got three of them disoriented. Didn't cause a miss, but oh well. Ooh, panicked. Good for me. We're here for that target. Okay, he's panicked. Uh, let's see. Axiom, if you were to smash, how far could you get? Not very far. I was hoping you'd be able to hit that thrall and then I could get you in a good upper position. Try and take out the other guys. Right, 
Necromancer's got the gun. Got an acolyte th right there. We've got the Thrall, who's disoriented still. Putin moves next. That acolyte there. Then the Thrall behind him moves. If I were to smash and go for the acolyte, it would leave him there. But if I were to use Adrenaline Surge... Okay. Okay. Here's the plan. Go for the Adrenaline Surge. Over the edge. Psych up, I'd Who say three times. Some? Ready for action. On the edge. Go for the smash on him. Hope we get the kill. Hopping over. And that he doesn't go berserk. Boom. Hostile off the board. Then we go for the shot on the thrall. Hostile killed. All right, that's those two eliminated. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use cooperation on Axiom. Wait for it now. Go for another psych up. Pumped up. Then go for a smash on this thrall. Kraken skulls. Which also gets Axiom into a better position. Hostile isn't moving. Yes, That's I did just for us. kill two targets, but I'm not all that concerned. Uh, unfortunately, the Necromancer is now out of range for a subdue. But you know what? That doesn't really matter to me. Let's go for an overwatch. Alright, still panicked. Good. Hmm. I wonder if Shelter, that, uh, shelter can get a relocate off on... Uh, this guy over here, the Hitman. Oh well, Verge, let's get you over here. See if you can't get a stupor off on the... Ah, no, you can't. All right, we can at least stun the hitman. Yep, figured that would happen. Could relocate with the Psy Zombie, but that would put the Psy Zombie next to my own people. And it would also put Shelter in danger. Then again, what was that thing? Temporal Shift? Delays the next turn of the relocated enemy. Could go for it still. But I'd probably be Better off. No, no. Go for the size zombie. Switching. And gun down the necromancer. Damn it. Disabling target weapon. Yep. Can't take another hit like that. Ow. You're still up. Alright, Axiom, psych up. Wired up. Go for the smash on the Necromancer, because going after the Hitman wouldn't be good. Making waves. Okay, stunned and disoriented. Good. Which also takes care of the Psy Zombie. Speaking of Psy Zombies, well, if I heal Shelter, then... We're not going to be able to go for the Necromancer. But you know what? Spray do its work. Necromancer's not going to be a threat We're to in us. Good hands. Let's 
that's it. You're done. <clears throat> and it figures that figures that his panic will be removed at that moment, but you know what? It doesn't matter. He's so low on health, he can't do anything to us. Hmm. Man, I don't feel like there's really much of a point. I say go for the mind flight. See if that won't get rid of the yes it does. Burn through that ammo. Alright, let's see if we can't get this necromancer down. Subdue the target. Target weapon in play. I really, really hate Hitmen. Target killed. Far less sloppy than me. Lightly wounded, wounded. Hopefully that won't lead to a scar, but even if it does, we do still have uh, Cherub coming out of training for that. Angler's point has risen to five. Cherub's completed his, tra his training. No one in their right mind should spend time in Old Town. The city council says they cleared out all the old advent, uh, max advent used to send on liquidation patrols, but give the whole district a pass until they hire mercenaries to hunt mechs door to door. Stay out of Bugtown, a local's guide to City 31. Okay, there's Verge. our payday. I need a comm check. Yes. Go ahead. Check, check, one, two, check. Can you hear me? I sensed it. Right, but Verge, you know how a comm check works. Yes. Then, wait, are you messing with me? Ha. Ah. yes. Well, at least you're honest about it. Okay, so we got payday. Yeah, I figured critical mission, which is actually perfect timing. It'll prevent city anarchy from going up. Uh, scavenger market is open today. It invests, superior stock, Illyrium cash... Tempting on the Illyrium cash, but I think I'll pass. Uh, let's see. Patrick has a promotion. Principal agent. Capacitor discharge. Patrick sends... Patrick sends the gremlin. I should say sends the gremlin to a location where it emits a substantial electric discharge. Damage and potentially stunning all nearby units. Robotic units take more damage when used per mission. Not bad. No other promotions, though. I'm thinking... I do like Shelter, the idea behind Shelter, but I think he's going to need a couple more promotions before I really make use of him. Shame we couldn't get the Masterwork Armor before the mission became critical, but so be it. I'm going to assign Shelter here and get him to... What's Star Initiative? Oh, Principal Agent or higher. Agents earn 20% more XP on missions for the next five days. Eh, yeah, pass. Let's go for legwork to get some more intel. Because I've got plenty of Illyrium for now, though that's probably going to change once I get the uh, Masterwork uh, mission secured. Ooh, that reminds me. I forgot to check out that new SMG. Crucial Symmetry. That's Chain Shot. Okay. Though it first appeared in the hands of a Shrike mercenary after the war, this submachine gun is not a terrestrial design. Huh. Okay, so Anarchy won't be going up because it's, well, just barely reaching five. Good. I was worried I might have to use one of the abilities I might need later. 
Agency, the progeny have a safe place to test their newest psionic toys due to a sympathizer with deep pockets. Find out what they're doing behind closed doors. Minus two unrest in Angler's Point District, 55 credits, and 20 Illyrium. Okay, endless brevity. What did that one do again? Oh, fanfire. Let's see, yeah, make items available. Sure, we'll toss the targeting system on him, give him the extra padding. Give him back the breach charge and give him his trank rounds. Ah, okay. Three projected encounters. No surprise there. Alright, in that case, let's get moving. This recycling center is sympathetic to the progeny. Now, we didn't know how sympathetic until tonight. They're testing prototype psionic tech inside. The brain melter of 3,000! Liquid lobotomies and seconds flat! Illyrium core not included. You joke, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Okay, we got a security door over here. Secure... Entrance, fewer aggressive enemies present, and then we get Vanguard over here. First unit through this entrance gets plus one armor for the encounter. You know I'm gonna toss Cherub on there, just get him more armor. And let's toss Axiom with him. We'll toss Terminal here, because she's the only one who can hack it, and Verge. I think we'll make the main door the first entryway. Stay behind me. It's go time! Alright, what do we got? Let's see, aggressive acolyte there. Cherub has a chance to kill him. But only if he hits and gets maximum damage. Let's see. Ooh, resonant. That's a new one. Thrall, nothing new there. I think I'm gonna go with the acolyte just because it's the highest chance to hit. Didn't kill him though. That's fine. Axiom. Cannot finish the job. Yeah, finish him off. Verge. Let's see. The thrall. You only have a chance to kill it. Yeah, go for the guaranteed. Still, though, I'm surprised th that th th these thralls only have 4 HP. Considering all the others, except for the initial investigation, had, uh... Had six. No idea what that thrall just did. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, ba 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 Look, we get the science prototype. Clear the shipping yard. Okay, who's next? That thrall right there. Not going to be able to get in for a kill on this, and my odds of hitting and killing are so low that it's not worth it. In which case, I'm going to put a kinetic shield on Cherub, move him out to make him a more opportune target for the Thrall. Half the chances are he's probably going to go after Terminal because, well, she's right there. Nope, he was stupid and went for Cherub. Good. Okay. Axiom could go after the Acolyte, who is next. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Now it seems a little early. Over I'm gonna use edge. Adrenaline Surge. I'm gonna psych up as Why much as I up? can. Who wants some? Ready for action. On the edge. Pumped up. And then we're gonna smash the acolyte. Low chances to hit, but I'm gonna take the chance. Uh weird. Wasn't letting me click. Good. Hostile kill. The rest of you surrender. Yeah. 
went for a rage, but you know what? Not bad. Okay, terminal. First things first, let's get you moved into better cover. Gotta get moving. Go for cooperation on Axiom. Wait for it. Now! Boom can go for a smash on the thrall right here. Okay. Verge. Let's go for a battle madness on the resonant. If we're lucky, he'll hit and kill the thrall. And then we'll mind flay him. Your will comes. Another hostile down. Now that's teamwork. A little bit of luck involved with Cherub's play, but still worked out. Hit the psionic hornet's nest. They weren't expecting company. Happy to disappoint. Okay, quick scan. First through is marked until the end of the encounter. Well, in that case, let's send in Cherub, who's our tank. Uh, Axiom, Terminal, and then Verge. Reaching in. Okay, what do we got? We got one aggressive guy. 75% chance to hit. It's an Acolyte. If I get max damage with Cherub, he will kill. Even if he doesn't, that'll leave him hollow targeted, which will in turn allow us to finish him off. Okay, high chance to hit, high chance to hit. There's a resonant over there, might not be a bad idea to take him out. At the same time though, I could just lower their numbers entirely by taking out the thralls that can be killed. Like our guaranteed to be killed. Verge. Go for the thrall. Better to lower their numbers entirely than to try and weaken them. At least in my personal opinion. Stop the hostage taker who goes sick. Okay, I'm moving. Nope, nope. I am not accepting that. Sorry, but I refuse to accept those kinds of mistakes. Okay, so the breach uh, specialty has changed in my favor. Not exactly what I wanted, but so be it. Still gonna go for the same setup. It's breach, and hopefully we can recreate what we did last time. Except a lot more of them are alert. Well, so be it. No longer a guaranteed hit. Oh well. Let's just consider that my pay, not my payment, but what I have to deal with for my mistake. Still managed to get both thralls. But we are gonna have both residents acting. Still not sure what side domain does. Okay. Now, first things first. Kinetic shield on Cherub. Let's see, do I go for the charged bash here? Hmm. Or do I just go for the shot? It's flanked shot. Good chance to crit. And I think good chance to kill. I can't tell because this is being blocked. There we go. I would need to get max damage or a crit to pull it off. Could go for the fanfire, but I want to save that for someone bigger, so... <sighs> yep, saw that coming. 
All right, let's get a psych up with Axiom. And I think I need to focus on taking down that Resonant before he can take a hostage. Kraken Skulls! Okay, at the very least, he's stunned. Uh, soul Siphon. Spend some HP to heal your friend. Not a bad move, all things considered. Though it does leave you exposed having leader. moved there. Resident's not a threat. Can't use that because it'll kill the civvy, so let's go for the Acolyte. He's down. Cherub is safe. He is stunned, which means he can't take the hostage, which is good. Uh, can't take the risk of the civvy being hurt, so I can't use the battle madness. He's still stunned, so let's hit this guy. And you know what? Let's just go for a subdue for some guaranteed damage. Could not arrest the hostile. And the other resonance not a threat, so I'm just gonna have Cherub take this guy out. Not with a charged bash, because that would be a waste. Target down. Don't see movement. And Axiom, you just finish this guy off. Target killed. And hostage saved. <laughs> Mission's going pretty well. Of course, now that I say I that... I have no eyes on the next room, so expect heavy resistance. They won't give up their toys easily. I can feel a psionic signal. It is... muffled, somehow. Powerful, but made to seem faint. Well, that's not a good sign. Alright, what do we got? Explosive entrance, eh? Yeah, alright, let's get Cherub and Axiom on this one. Quick snare. Let's go for terminal and then verge. And we'll make this the first one. How's this for an entrance? Okay, what do we got? Acolyte, at resonant. Acolyte who's aggressive. If I got max damage, I could kill him. We also got the thrall over there. See if we can't get some orders to surrender. 87, 87, 37. Nah, I'd be better off going for the shot on him. Yeah, go for the shot. Maybe the other team will have a better chance of hitting that thrall. Yeah. Arguably, I don't want to waste the extra damage. And again, all I have are thralls here, so... You know what, go for the alert thrall. And Verge. Please take out this aggressive thrall. Yes! I love it when a breach works out. That looks like a modified Siam. Let's take it off their hands. Okay, Cherub, kinetic shield yourself. Armored up. And unfortunately, we can't go for charged bash. Okay, I'm moving. Yeah, it's all that coming. But it's not gonna matter much. Okay, Axiom, do me a favor. Thank Hostile you. Off the board. That was unpleasant. Ouch. You're still up. But he took like basically no damage. Okay, uh, let's use a pin down on the Resonant. Just to push him further down. 
Because terminal can't move. And let's go for a shot. Uh, as for Verge... Unfortunately, you'd have to dash to get there. Unfortunate. So, in that case... Let's send you here. Repositioning. You need an escort? Grab the item. Enemy reinforcements incoming, huh? Okay. Ah, uh, ooh. Go for the thrall. Tag the hostile. Or less sloppy than me. Go for the resonant. And hopefully the mod will kick in and we can just Welcome. keep that. Nope. Well, that's fine. Everybody's basically within dashing distance of the evac, so I'm not too worried about the reinforcements. Got you covered. We are counting on you. Who the heck is that guy? I was talking about the hall New poster. Notes arise. Okay, Verge, you are the most important. Get out of there. Okay, uh, Cherub, I want you to put a kinetic shield on Terminal. Protected from all angles. She's got to survive through two enemies before she can evacuate. I'm not too worried about Axiom. He should be fine. So, get out of there. Oh. Huh. No, wait, I was thinking. I was thinking it's armor that uh, doesn't work well with, or doesn't protect against soul fire, not kinetic shields. Nah, can't take a uh, passing shot at the Thrall. Oh, that's fine. Thrall can't do anything to uh, Terminal. At least nothing substantial enough to kill her. Especially nice if they strike, miss. Jackass. Moving, cover me. Well, that was near flawless. Got 30 intel out of it. Among other things. Minus two unrest, 55 credits, 20 Illyrium, ooh, 70 extra credits from a hostage rescue, and 30 intel from the captured enemies. It is my recommendation that we classify all Psy Amps as restricted weapons. They are deadlier than plasma pistols when held by anyone with rudimentary psionic capabilities. Director Kelly, Reclamation Agency Memo. Great work. We have the progeny on the run, and with far fewer places to escape. Yes, we do. Ooh, we can get a new recruit. We also got some promotions ready. Okay. Let's see, Claymore. <sighs> Explosives could be useful, but... I don't really see us needing them. We also got Blue Blood and Torque. Blue Blood's pretty good. You know, standard pistol fire and deadly and Deadeye cost an action and do not automatically end the turn if the agent has actions remaining. There's also Lancer shot, which he unlocks. Agent fires his Lancer pistol at a target, ignoring all cover bonuses. We also got Torque. Let's see, Agent wraps up an enemy, dealing damage and preventing them from acting on their turn. Bound enemies cannot be targeted by XCOM for risk of damaging Agent. Reaction. 
and tongue pull. Shoots their tongue out. Shoots out their tongue to grab a unit and pull them into melee range. Can be used on enemies and allies. Some oversized targets cannot be pulled. And actually used that to some interesting effect on hostage rescues. Uh, who do I go for? It's a choice between blue blood and torque. Well, let's flip a coin. Whichever side gets, uh... Heads for blue blood, tails for torque. Whichever side gets to three first is who I pick. Okay, that's one for tails. One for heads. Two for tails. Two for heads. This is the decider. Heads. We're going with blue blood. Do the smart way. The hard way gets you killed. See, did I ever show his biography? Yeah. Alright. Looks like we got another gunslinger on our crew. Blue blood. Great to see you. <laughs> Back at you, Whisper. Settling in? Not exactly. Until we have a proper field office, we get to sleep in a rail car repair yard. Mmm, see? Every job comes with a few perks. Eh, let me know when we have any. Yeah. And that brings us up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight agents, which I believe is the maximum we can have for our campaign, so we're not going to be getting any more new recruits. Well, eight agents and a robot. Now, as for Terminal, Second Wind. Terminal sends a Grillman to all allies, restoring 4 HP, cleansing burn, acid, and poison effects, and stabilizing allies who are bleeding out. One use permission. Okay, good. And Cherub. Supercharge. Cherub spends all stored energy, char uh, all stored charges, and increases the primary weapon damage of allies while placing a hollow target effect on all enemies. The duration of the effect increases with charge spent. One use permission. Ooh, that's a good one. And you know what? Why don't we bring Blue Blood along? Sorry, Verge. And let's get you some training, I guess. Mind Lash. Oh yeah, don't the aren't they supposed to get something new when they reach Principal Agent? Uh, terminal. What have you got? Guardian. Overwatch triggers abilities trigger for multiple targets as long as ammo is available. Not bad. Uh, Axiom does not have that yet. He's not a principal agent. Cherub. Turn fire. Fire back at the attacker when shot at. I mean, that would be really good for what I've got planned. But I think for the time being, I'm going to get Verge. Because he's not going to be available. Mindflay deals additional one damage to each enemy in the neural network. Because why not? The scavenger market is open. Let's see, superior auto loader. Should probably consider getting some of this stuff. But who knows? Uh, one more day on the assembly. We've seen the progeny using tech of an unfamiliar design. None of this came from Advent. Track down the source of this tech. We need to know how they're using it. Right. Where was I? Right, right, right. Ah, uh, this. Can't afford to have this start going up again after I just got it down. So, gonna use Dragnet on this. Get the credits from it. Then go after this investigation. And the Mastercrafted armor is done. The mercenaries you've encountered are from the old Shrike network. City 31 paid them to provide security just after the war. After the formation of 3-1 PD, Shrike was cut loose. By then, they were more of a mercenary outfit than resistance group. Who's in charge? It's not that simple. Shrike operates in a loose cell structure. Each cell determines which jobs they're willing to take. Some help guard the city's food supply. And others are muscle for seriously shady people. So what if we run into more in the field? They should have the sense to avoid a fight with reclamation. And if they don't? Standard rules of engagement. Okay then, so we know who we're dealing with. Sort of. Mastercrafted armor hey, is done. You okay? Yeah, mom passed long ago, but this time of year always hits me. 
Ah. You lose her to the invasion? No. The year before. Cancer. I'm sorry. Thing is, I'm glad she missed all this, you know? That she didn't have to live in a broken world. How messed up is that? It's a common thought. Truly. Thanks, man. That helps. Okay, mastercrafted pistols, shotguns, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Honestly, I have multiple people who now who use each of these. Any one of them would be good. I think I'm going to go for the assault rifles first. New supply items, mastercrafted armor upgrades. And yeah, this is what I was saving all of my... Uh, credits for it, because these ma this Mastercrafted stuff is going to be expensive, but worth it. Plus three HP, uh, yeah. HP, one armor, and an extra utility item slot. Not really eh, all that useful for us, but, well, in the utility item slot. But I will take the extra HP and armor. It gets rid of a lot of credits, but you know what? It doesn't really matter for me. Shame it doesn't change their appearance, though. That would have been nice. That's one of the things I really liked uh, in XCOM 2 and Enemy Within, is that uh, whenever you... That whenever you got new weaponry and armor, it changed up their appearance. Not a lot, but it, it made it a difference. Okay, what have we got? Now we got turncoat right here. Get me a plated vest and 30 intel. Or I could go for a hot tip. Reduce the unrest. Frag grenade and plasma grenade. Eh. Minus two unrest, 35 intel, and 55 credits. Honestly, this is just the better mission overall. So, yeah. I don't think I can really upgrade. Well, actually, no. There are some field teams I could upgrade. But I kind of want to get this one up just so we can start counteracting, you know, this. So I think I'll hold off on upgrading the field teams. And we'll go for this one. But, unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode. Do not have enough to take on any mission, no matter how short it is. So, I think I'm going to end things off there for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.